right guys, welcome to the second of today's videos as I was down here doing my Trekology sleeping map I thought we'd have a closer look at the Leviathan EB900 sleeping bag the main sleeping bag that I use it's a four season 600 FP down sleeping bag which is hydrophobic duck down um, it has a comfort of minus 9 a limit of minus 16 an extreme of minus 38 now I love this bag but Sorry OEX, absolutely no chance I'm going out with minus 38 in this. Um, it weighs 1374 grams. Externally it's 220 centimetres by 78 centimetres. Obviously I've got it in the storage pack at the moment, so it's just like a giant mesh bag, so you don't leave your um, your down sleeping bag compressed otherwise you lose the loft. So, I'll get it out and have a closer look. Now, the first thing I'll say is the stuff sack, compression sack that it comes with. Um, OAX, you've let yourselves down there. That's a piece of crap. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but absolutely useless so what I've got is the quality bag that came with my one sl season sleeping bag which is also OEX uh, and I use that to store this away so what I'll do is once we've had a closer look at it I'll show you how I pack that away and how small I can get it so what I'll do is I'll get this laid out and we'll take a closer look right so there we go that's the Leviathan EV900 laid out as I keep saying, I'm six foot three and there's plenty of room in that for me. It's probably the only sleeping bag I've got that keeps me uh, lengthways warm and comfortable. Um, so we'll have a look as we're at the bottom end. We've got two little tabs at the bottom for hanging up or pulling out of the stuff sack, which I would never, I would always put this end in the stuff sack first. But um, yeah, there we go. Come up to the top end, you've got the tab over the zip there, there you go, hydrophobic. Take that off and it's got the easy zips, so if I can hold the camera right, there you go, more or less right down to the bottom. That does help when you're sleeping just to keep the zip from going down a wee bit if you're wriggling about. And there we go opened up it's got a lovely neck baffle there on the back and on the front for uh, keeping you nice and warm that toggle there nips everything in around that um, neck baffle um, and you've also got a one that pulls the bit that goes over your head the hood um, nice and tight around you so when everything's done up it's really cozy um, obviously with it being ducked down it's nice and soft um, so yeah right we're, we're out by the river as you've probably seen in my uh, previous video glorious day so it's probably going to be a bit warm for getting in but I'm going to do it anyways and I'm going to see if I can take some footage and show you how well I fit in it it's baking but as you can see there plenty of room any room with ways obviously it's a mummy sleeping bag so it does nip in at the feet a little bit but yeah I really love this sleeping bag absolutely yeah, brilliant if I pull that there you can see it in the neck as well so yeah fantastic um, OEX Leviathan EV900 <laughs> on a sunny summer's day gets a thumbs up from a Cumbrian lad right guys uh, I'll show you how I pack my uh, sleeping bag away now do follow a lot of camping uh, pages on Facebook and a question I've seen a lot recently is how do you get your big sleeping bags down to a small size in your rucksack. So like I said before, the stuff sack that comes with this is useless. Bomb that off. I've just got a dry sack that comes with your one season sleeping bag. I like to leave the zip undone just so it gives you less chance of trapping any air. Feet end in first, stuff it right to the bottom keep twisting the bag as you're shoving it in just so we don't get anything nipped up and just keep going 
Royal Church in Rome. down a lot smaller than the stuff sack that comes with it. Give it a good push down as fast as you can. And what I like to do is I just like to kneel on it a wee bit making sure there's still enough room for it to come out otherwise you risk bursting your bag spend a bit of time with this and you can really get it down quite small make sure everything's in nice and tight you can really hear the air coming out of it and then when you put it down as small as you think you can get it, just give the bag another neck. Hear that air coming out there for the last time, and then bend it over and nip it up. Now, unfortunately, the only tape measure I could find today was the Mrs.'s uh, pink snail sewing one, but we've got it down to approximately 30 centimetres long by. 20 centimetres wide. So there we go. That's the uh, Leviathan EV900 sleeping bag done. Once again, thank you very much for clicking on my video. It's very much appreciated. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do so and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. So for the second time today, stay safe.